going to start with batch programming. We are going to code with uh, our notepad and we are going to make the file a batch file. So let's see what batch programming is all about. Batch programming. Okay, batch programming is a programming language that when you finish, you are going to end up with a batch file. Batch programming is a programming language that when you finish, you are going to end up with a batch file. Then, what is a batch file? A batch file is a file that when you launch, the command prompt reads it and executes it in disguise. Like when we launch something, the command prompt will read it and execute it. That is a batch file. So anytime you see a batch file, when it is run, it is the command prompt that actually read it and execute it for you. That is what a batch file is. So let's try to do some coding here. We are starting from the scratch. Okay, we normally start with a, a command called echo. Echo. What is echo? Echo we, in our everyday life, um, we, we've heard echo. Like um, we've said something like hello. Sometimes we, he we hear some um, noises at the background. You understand? So echo means that say something for me. So when you are walking through the hallway, when you are walking through the hallway and you say hello, you can see that there's there will be some echo. You understand? Some echo um, around it or behind it that will say the hello for you. you understand? The same thing applies to the uh, patch file. When we say hello or echo here, when we say echo here, it means that we are telling the command prompt to say something for us. So when I say echo hello world i'm saying that the command prompt should say hello world for me you understand i'm saying that the command prompt should say hello world for me you understand so now let's save it first point when you are trying to save a batch file you need to know that it is saved in a batch file extension again when you are saving a batch file, you save it with a batch extension. So let's see how we can save it. We go to our file, then we click on save. When we click on save, then we give it a name. You can give it any name. You can give it Bruno. You can give it Chief. You can give it Ken. Any name so let's save it Ken but when you type the name you have to make sure that you have dot but there when you type the name you need to make sure that you add dot path to it when you type the name make sure you add dot path to it so Ken dot path chief dot path Bruno dot bat file dot bat the name that you are going to give the, to the file you need to make sure that you add dot bat to it you understand and we always or normally save it at our desktop we always or normally save it at our desktop so I'll save it at my desktop then king dot bat you understand then I'll press my save now I can close this one you can see that my file is here now I can try to execute it oh it has come and it has gone again why why does it have to do that you can see that it is showing us that the command prompt is the one that executes it you understand that is why look you can see that is the command prompt that came you understand so it is showing us that it is the command prompt that reads it and execute it you understand it you understand the meaning of a batch file that is the meaning of a batch file any batch file that you see when you launch it the command prompt read it for you and execute it so any code that we write in our notepad so far as we save it 
in a batch file when we launch it it is the command prompt that reads it for us and executed for us that is batch file you understand so let's see whether truly it is the command prompt that reads it and executed note something here anytime you are making a batch file all the codes that we write in a batch file you can see that all that codes are also available with the command prompt straight away you understand so let's see in another tutorial how we can make the command prompt stay on the screen and prove to us that it is really the command prompt that is executing it and reading it for us so let's go to another tutorial please you will not get this explanation anywhere so contact us call us join our batch programming tutorial join our batch programming classes and you will never regret may the good lord be with us all please subscribe and like it for us share contact us thank you Buddy